Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Cost, and today I'm gonna be doing something very special um, because when I woke up this morning, my channel had over 900 subscribers already. So for the 1,000 subscriber special, I am going to take you through the process of creating a whole song from scratch. Now, I have no idea how this is gonna end up. I will probably segment this video into multiple parts um, because otherwise I'm just gonna end up uploading like a two hour video and um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that. Now before I get into it again I just want to say thank you to all the people that have subscribed, rated, commented. Um, it's really been a blast so far and it meant so much to me to read all your guys' comments and you know I really do appreciate the support and for the people that are new to my channel or it's the first video of me that they're watching I want to welcome you all and politely just ask you guys to subscribe as well if you like what I'm doing also it would mean a ton to me if you could share the videos and if you want to take it that step further on any of my videos just reload the video um, So without further ado, I'm gonna get right into the tutorial. So here we are in FL Studio and the first thing that I'm gonna do is actually take down my tempo a little bit. I'm gonna go for something a little bit slower at about 90 beats per minute. Um, I might change it depending on how this goes and depending on how my creative flow works out for this video. But 90 beats per minute is about the average tempo for hip hop and rap and since I'm somewhat in that area, I guess that's what I'm gonna go with today. So the first thing I usually do when I create drums, I just wanna create a basic pattern. We're just gonna use one of the standard patterns that's actually used in hip hop and rap. So now I'm gonna go into my packs and select the sounds that I'm gonna use for this project. I'm gonna try to stick with all the assets that come pre-installed with FL Studio just so you guys can do exactly what I'm doing at home one-to-one -one if you do have FL Studio 11. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and find a kick that I really like. And I do like layering my kicks, so I just drag the second kick on top of that. I just feel like if you layer your kicks, it just gives the kick a little bit more of a punch. So now I'm gonna head over to my claps in the percussion folder and find something over there that I really like. Turn that down a little bit. And I do like layering hats over the kicks because I feel like the kick is a very low bassy sound and to fill it out a little bit more, I usually put hats where I put kicks um, just because it sounds nice and crisp.
All right, and as you've noticed, I've done kind of a quick premix to all my sounds that I'm using for the drums. Um, just by changing the volume knobs over here because that's gonna give me a fairly good idea of how it's gonna sound when I'm actually done mixing it. So once I have a cool pattern that I like, I'm gonna go ahead and place the pattern in my playlist. Now, once I did that, I usually always go back and make some of my patterns unique just to give the beat a little bit of variation. You can do this by clicking the little box up here and selecting make unique down here. Once you made the pattern unique, you can double click it, go back into the pattern, and change little things about it. I'm just gonna take away some of the hi-hats and maybe add another kick over here. So with the unique pattern, basically you're only changing that one pattern while not touching the other patterns that you used. So I'm gonna put this pattern over here. So now that we got the basic drums down, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next part. And if there's one thing that I would really hope that you take from this tutorial, it's pressing Control S. Hitting Control S basically just saves your project. So you do wanna get in the habit of hitting Control S once in a while, because if you lose your whole project, it gets really frustrating. And I think that's a pretty good place to stop this first part of the tutorial, but stay tuned for the next part because then we're gonna get into setting up a basic melodic pattern.